I'm Jessica Cartaglia with your evening digital news brief for Monday, February 12, 2021. More winter storms headed toward our area tonight. The Lehigh Valley could see the worst of the freezing rain. Crews have been busy pre-treating roads all day. PennDOT tells us that even though it's late in the season, it has plenty of salt on hand, more than 85,000 tons of it to cover Philadelphia and its suburbs, and even more in the Lehigh Valley. And at nearby hardware stores, we found people stocking up on ice melt. Power companies are anticipating outages. Authorities are searching for a suspect who opened fire at a Walmart in Glen Alden. Police say that the shooter got into an argument with a store employee over a video game yesterday morning. The man shot at the employee in the front vestibule of the store. No one was injured. The suspect was then involved in a domestic incident in Upper Darby. And the SWAT team was called out to his home in Darby Borough, but the suspect was never found. In West Philadelphia, a man is dead and two others injured in a triple shooting outside of a laundromat. It happened around 11 last night on the 62 200 block of Lansdowne Avenue. A 37-year-old man was shot in the leg and chest. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. Two other men are in stable condition. Investigators say the suspect was driving a dark-colored vehicle. So far, no one has been arrested. The Department of Defense is sending teams of 25 active duty troops to New Jersey to administer COVID-19 vaccines. Those teams will be sent to Trenton and Vineland in our area. No word on when. Eyewitness News outside the VA Medical Center on Woodland Avenue in Philadelphia today. The hospital started administering doses of the vaccine today to veterans age 65 and older. Those taking part had to schedule an appointment. You can always get the latest on these stories and more here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the evening digital brief. I'm Jessica Cartalia.